Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter and welcome to the best free assets for June, July 2024. And I'm going to put these in five different categories so you'll be able to skip along in the timeline. We're going to look at models, vehicles and characters as one category, UI and 2D, terrains and generation. We'll look at shaders and materials and other visual effects and then useful editor extensions. And all of these are a wide variety of awesome free assets that you can check out for this month. And I do have a massive playlist where you can check out absolutely everything for the years that I've been doing it in the past. Be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects. And there's a massive list down in the description. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with all the models, the vehicles and the characters. The low poly nature bundle is suitable for URP and HDRP. You could convert it downwards, but it's over 99 different meshes, which varies a very different styles from different color palettes to little small shrubs, walls, rocks, and trees in a very cute style. We've got the Buckhead monster, which is could be for something for horror or fantasy games which is suitable for across all pipelines, rigged with a skeletal animation, 4K textures, and looks incredibly detailed. We've got the free adventure vehicles, low poly cars. So this one comes with a motorbike, a sports car style, more of a buggy off-road kind of vehicle, all rigged, UV mapped, and textured, and perfect for your next racing game. We've got the low poly bounty hunter Rio 2. So this is a humanoid model that can be used and changed into a third person style controller if you wish with 2000 resolution and textures and a low poly themed style. Next one is the modular industrial catwalk kit, which comes with 11 different catwalk elements to be able to create straight lines across T sections, stairs, beams, and other different things. And they do have a paid version, which does have vertical ladders, ramps, and other supporting beams to make a customization. We've got the sci-fi space fighter PBR, which is a package which is suitable across all pipeline, one universal material, and around 15,000 to 20,000 triangles, per modular fighter. We're gonna look at all the terrain and generation tools. So we've got the Lux Instant Vegetation, which is suitable for URP and HDRP, which is a set of shaders, which allows you to instantly add bending to all types of vegetation almost instantly. And you can get those results to make things that look like the swaying, the moving and the wind. We've got the LOD Roads Demo. So this allows you to create procedural roads. You can do pavements, walls, railroads, and all have LOD generation to be able to reduce that quality over a distance. We've got Nature Renderer 6 Free, which is the plugin to optimize nature rendering and vegetation within Unity, specific for Unity 6. And they do have another free version for previous versions because it's one of the most long-standing tools on the Unity Asset Store for vegetation rendering in general. Now we're gonna look at shaders and materials and visual effects. Effects. There's the FXAA Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing Technique. This is suitable for just the built-in renderer, but it's an anti-aliasing technique which is really, really fast, which allows you to smooth out hard edges that are missed by other types of anti-aliasing, which is really optimized. Got the Air Roof Effect Spell Free, which is five different effects with various different colors, suitable for area effect style games, RPGs, or otherwise. We're gonna look at all the 2D and UI assets. We've got the basic inventory system for the UI toolkit. Now, if anybody's wanting to use the UI toolkit, which you could use this for city builders or RPGs and all the codes implemented and included. So you can take a look and use the advantages of UI toolkit. This features item management, drag and drop, inventory displays, equipment, a hotbar, crafting, a shop and even chests. We've got the Apocalypse Heroes Spine 2D characters. It comes with two characters, the hero and the enemy along with all their skins and the animations that you're free to use for your own style game. We've got the SF Inventory 2, which is suitable for across all pipelines. And this is a flexible little inventory, which has player equipment, consumables inventory, and then a quick slot selection. Got the Cardi's drag and drop card system, and this is a 2D implementation drag and drop card mechanics. So this is specifically focused on something like poker or rummy, and you can easily maintain and do different transforms to be able to show how many cards that you'll be able to place in in a particular place. You can get it on GitHub too, and you can check out the other implementations too. We've got the brown rock tile set top down, and it's 32 by 32 tile sets, which has 32 different PNG styles, various tiles for pillars, bridges, grass tiles, trees, and bushes, with various cave and other looking houses and there is some animated grass tiles coming soon and they plan to add some heroes and foes into this pack too. 
We've got the game input controller and icons. So if you want over 100 icons, which are 512 by 512 with different things created and padded in Photoshop, whether you need a keyboard, a mouse and different controls for your game. We've got another one for the UI toolkit, which is the circular bar, which allows you to create smooth circular bars, whether you need that for loading or something that would allow you to have an interaction to be able to maybe do a technique in your game. They can do various colors, sizes, shapes, and they're really slick. We've got the game weapons and icon package, which is 60 different weapons and icons in various different forms, whether you need to use a white and black, black on white, or a slightly more detailed look, and they're all Atlas. And lastly, we're going to look at useful editor extensions. Next one is the simple embedded script editor. So if you ever wanted to edit your scripts inside Unity, but it doesn't have IntelliSense or anything to help you out, but it can just be a way to be able to edit scripts directly inside Unity without ever opening Visual Studio or something else. We've got something called Project Stats. So this is a small little Unity editor extension, which you can use for analyzing and reporting specific things from your project. So you can look at how many materials are used, prefab scripts, textures, audio clips, to be able to fine tune and optimize. Next one is the Scene Toolbar, the Quick Scene Management Overlay. So this quick toolbar allows you to launch and switch scenes really easily. It does have a favorites dropdown. You can actually drag this into different places of the Unity UI. I just want to say that every month there's loads of free sound effects and audio, but this one from Fat Fog Studio has free RPG music collection and various others for this month. It's always good to have a massive folder with loads of sound effects and audio effects that you can use for your games. So do be sure to check out all these. I'll put all the links down in the description so you don't miss a single thing out. Do be sure to check out all the links in the description for all the best sales, savings, and everything you can find in game dev and Unity. Be sure to check out my Patreon because I've got over 225 different scripts, assets, and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And a big thank you to Peter Steiner and Very Shooter for their amazing support and everybody else who comes to support the channel. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.